freezing but today's our last day in Rhode Island we're headed back home to Colorado we've been here since like July and it's mid-October now so we've been here for a few months finally time to head back home got all the bags packed up right now we got the surfboards and skimboards packed up and you might be asking yourself why the fuck are we bringing surfboards and skimboards back to Colorado and that is because we make a few trips out to LA probably go there sometime this winter get some surfing in, which will be super sick. But our shuttle is coming in like 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, we're headed home. It's like we just can't help ourselves. Cause we don't know how to back down. To the streets We were called out to the town Flight number two, cops oh, and sushi I'd like to everyone aboard How the heavens they opened up Like arms of dazzling First night I went to sleep and I literally just could not fall asleep and I ended up getting super sick. So yesterday I just like stayed in my bed all day. I couldn't do anything. My body was just so dead. It was horrible. But I'm feeling a lot better today. And it's actually a completely new house. We just moved in here. So I'm getting everything set up in my room right now. I'm out of breath right now because I just carried my entire bed frame up like four sets of stairs. But yeah, I'm gonna set up my room a little bit and then I'll give you guys a full house tour. Alright, I finally finished setting up my bed. That took way longer than it needed to because these screws like weren't lining up and going into the bed frame, but it's fine. It's all set up anyway. And yeah, all my clothes are in the laundry right now, but everything's gonna go in this closet right here. Gotta hang this mirror up on the wall. And then I have my charging station right here. <sighs> Holy shit, I'm out of breath. But we have the camera batteries, GoPro batteries, my external hard drives, um, all my GoPro stuff in there. And yeah, I still need to get a chair here because I don't have one. And I'm gonna give you guys a full house tour right now, so. Going to the bathroom here, got a mirror, sink, toilet, we got the shower right here and everything is a mess right now. Doing my laundry, we're moving in, so 
yeah, there's my parents' room, and then there's Devin's room right there. Yeah, like I said, everything's a mess right now. But we got a nice view of the mountains right here. And I have like a pretty long lens on right now. I don't have any other lenses for my camera, so it'd be a lot nicer with a wider angle lens, but it is what it is. Got another bathroom right here with a shower, and then this brings us into the living room. So we got a couple couches right here, another nice view of the mountains. Got some awards right there from skiing, and here we have a table, couch, all the Halloween decorations are out. Got a little game right here. Spider just chilling. Coming into the kitchen. Here's all of our supplements. We're kind of running out of everything. Oh shit. Kind of running out of everything right now, but we got that DMAA, Syndrex, ESP. Uh, I need to get some Gorilla Mode Nitric. Best pump product in the game. Not sponsored, but it's the best. And have a bunch of stuff in here. Mass gainer, which I haven't taken in two years. Uh, Dextros, glycerol, bunch of snacks, bunch of food. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire upstairs, entire living room and everything. And coming down here, that door just goes to the outside. And then this just brings us right out to the garage. We have some old workout equipment in here that we used in quarantine. That's basically like when we started working out serious. And that was what, like a year and a half ago? That was like my first time going to the gym six days a week. Like started tracking my calories, bulking, like learning everything I did. And my dad's bike's right there. But yeah, that's pretty much a tour of the entire house. Devin's in the car right now, so I kinda gotta hurry up. But we're hitting some upper chest today. I took a Syndrex like about an hour ago. And I'm gonna take two of the small scoops of ESP. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We don't have any pump product. So I'm gonna mix this up and then we're going to the gym. All right, so I just mixed up those two small scoops of the ESP. And today's actually my first time taking stimulants in over a week which is like the longest break I've taken in like honestly the past year, which is pretty insane. So that shit should hit pretty hard. But yesterday I was sick as I was saying. So I literally ate like under a thousand calories. I probably got like 700 calories in. So I'm gonna be super weak today, super depleted, but we got the caffeine to get through this workout. And we're back in the WRX. I haven't even driven this thing yet. Devin's been driving. All right, I'm gonna do a voiceover for the first part of this workout. And I actually have a mic set up, so hopefully it sounds nice and crispy. But we started out with some flat bench, and I'm actually using a deadlift bar for the first time in like three months. And I honestly didn't like it that much because I'm just not used to it at all. But here's Devin hitting 185, then I go on to hit 185, and we just called it there because it just wasn't feeling good. And I've been out of breath all day, and I was fatiguing so quick in the gym, and I couldn't figure out why. And I just realized that we were living at sea level for like three months. And now we're at like 11 to 12,000 feet. So the altitude's kind of kicking my ass. But here's my buddy Jackson doing three sets of six on incline with 185. And then I go on to do a plate for four sets of 10. Kept it super light, just easing back into it. But since I got sick yesterday, I literally lost five pounds in one day. I ate like 700 calories. And it's just crazy to me how much weight I can lose in like one day of a big deficit. And I can just get lean so fast. But I'm going to put a song to rest of this workout. So hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy. 